Welcome back to World Drum Club, everyone. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher. And this is a quick uh, bongo lesson on implements to use to strike the bongos um, when you're not going to use your hands or you don't want to use your hands or you can't use your hands or you'd rather not use your hands. And believe it or not, um, a lot of the times when we play the bongos or we're recording the bongos, we don't always play them with our hands in the traditional way. So this is a non-traditional bongo approach. Um, in fact, I've got the bongos angled towards me like tom-toms, which I said not to do when you're setting them up to play with your hands, but this is different. Um, one of the first times I saw bongos being used in the studio, in the recording studio, was when I job shadowed one of my teachers, Alex Acuna. He was doing a film score and he actually used one of these to play the bongos. Well, he used two, he actually used two sticks. This is a very thin timbali stick. So this is one of the things you can use to play the bongos um, carefully. And I wanna also say that you wanna maybe just use sticks and things on your own bongos, not on other people's bongos. Why? Because this is a wooden rim. Bongos are made of wood, right? And this edge called the bearing edge, if you strike it with the stick, it can dent it. Now, if you're gentle, you're probably not gonna dent it. But here's what I would say with this. Um, do like a rim shot. You don't want to angle too much on the head because you can break through the head if, if your bongos have thin skins. These skins are, I'd say, medium thick, so I'm not really worried about that. But we, um, we, don't, we don't want to risk breaking the bongos or we don't want to risk uh, denting the bearing edge with the stick. So if you go really flat to where you're almost doing a rim shot or maybe you are doing a rim shot, um, that's a good sound and it, it, you can hit the drum harder and it, it's not going to damage the drum. So that sounds like this. And I can play with the distance from the edge. Now they kind of fall short. You, you'll hear all these things in the recordings um, that I'm making right now. I'm using a nice mic over here in addition to my shotgun mic, which is over here. So I'm, I'm trying to give you the best sound possible. So. Actually, you know, if you're listening to this on your smartphone, I'd recommend some uh, earbuds or headphones and, or if you're on a computer, if it's a laptop, definitely headphones or earbuds. And then if you're on your home computer, try to hook it up to some nice speakers. And that goes for all World Drum Club videos because I care about you guys and I'm using really good recording equipment. So if you can't hear the sounds, it's probably on your end. All right, let's figure, well, I'm gonna go through the, all these things, and then we can talk about combinations. So that's, again, a thin timbali stick, wooden stick. You can definitely use one or two sticks. Here is another thing. This is called a Root 505. This is made by Vic Firth. A few of these are by, actually, I think almost all these. All these are from Vic Firth. This is a bundled plastic uh, sticks or rods, and I've used these before. I had a whole bunch of these at one point because I was using these for group drumming. Um, where we want to lower the volume, have a full sound, but not damage anything. These are not going to hurt anything because they're just a bunch of plastic. So not going to hurt your gear at all. You can use these for all kinds of things. Um, you can also put a band. I think these came with like a rubber band that you can move up if you want it tighter. Um, you'll have to imagine that because I don't have it with me right now. But if you put a, a little rubber band around here, you can tighten this whole thing up. It'll be more impactful. But I'm going to just gonna use it how, as it is now. You can see that this has got some uh, wear and tear on it, but that's okay. So here's what this sounds like. Okay, so that's got a nice handle. Like I said, you can adjust this, the uh, intensity by moving some kind of um, rubber band up and down the shaft here. And that's called a Root 505. Let's go with another Root. This is a Root 404, a little bit different. So you can see it's similar. It's like a brush made of wooden dowels. And um, let's just hear it. Okay, so similar to the 505, a little more bitey, a little more kind of rakey sound. 
Have you done Reiki on your bongos? <laughs> did I just Reiki my bongos? I think I did. All right, let's move on. And I want to show you these. Now, I don't know if you can get these anymore. These are called Blades by Vic Firth, but there's some other companies that make these kinds of things. I'll leave some links below um, to some sticks and mallet companies that where you can, you know, you can start to explore these things. But if you put in, you know, Blades or, you know, honestly, you can get those um, neoprenes. Um, it's like a spatula that you use for clearing out a bowl, right? Wiping, wiping cake batter out of a bowl, you know, those spatulas. Those work really well. They work similar to this. So this is something that Vic Firth was making a while back. Um, you know, can use them on any drums, but here's what they sound like on the bongos. Okay, so kind of like, like, A little sharper than fingers, but not a bad sound. Nice sound, kind of full. Again, on the low drum, these the things that sound good on the, the macho or the high drum don't sound as good really on the embra or the, the large drum. So we're gonna address that right now. Um, this is a blade that I designed for Vic Firth a while back. And like I said, I think these have been discontinued, but I keep a few of these around because I, I like them. And you can make your own with this. This is the same product same thing as the blade, but I said, hey, why not put some neoprene on there to soften it up a little bit, make it a little more like el mano, um, like a hand. Is it la mano? I think it is. That's where they get you on Spanish. I don't know. Maybe you can leave a comment and tell us which one it is. But um, whichever mano you're using, this uh, is gonna be a little softer. Um, going to sound better on the, the larger rum. And you can use these on all sorts of things too, not just bongos. But I kind of had bongos in mind when I designed this. So here's what this sounds like. Hey, so I think you'll agree, I hope you'd agree, that actually overall this gets the range of the bongos. The sound is is the most like you'd expect the bongos to be. Uh, if played with the hands. And these are awesome because they're not gonna hurt your drum. Um, I wish they were still making these because this is a good infomercial right now. <laughs> it's turning out to be a nice uh, infomercial. Maybe you can call up Vic Firth or email him and say, hey man, bring back the Kalani hand tones. Or not, do whatever you want. But I like them for the reasons I mentioned about the neoprene. Now you can, you know, get some neoprene stuff and make your own, get some blades or get whatever, make your own. Let's listen to a few combinations. Um, I want to start off with the, the blade on the, exclusively on the macho and then the hand tone going back and forth between the two. All right, now let's go to the root over here and the blade. Not bad. All right, and finally, how about the stick and the root stick on the Macho exclusively and the Root uh, 505 on both. All right, I lied. I played the stick on the, uh, the large drum. So there you have it, uh, a variety of implements. Uh, these are not the only ones, of course but I hope this gives you some ideas uh, of what you could either purchase or you could make yourself. I'm a big fan of making in instruments and implements. So if you have any more suggestions you wanna share with our community here, please do. Uh, that's it, that's it. We're gonna go uh, move on with uh, some other bongo rhythm lessons soon and I'll be doing some lessons on bongos and congas together. Uh, in different setups. All right, this is World Drum Club. 
I'm Kalani Das. I want to thank you for tuning in. As always, please support us at patreon.com slash Kalani. I'll see you in a future lesson.